Good morning, everybody. Um, so overnight, your rocket might be a little stuck to whatever surface, but you should have your fins nice and sturdy um, in 90 degrees. So hopefully that's close enough. Um, and we have our parachute and a, a decal and this cord and our nose cone. First thing we want to do is uh, pop this little piece out right here. So now we have a hole um, and that's how we're going to tie off our parachute. It's just a little plastic piece um, that they make easily removable when they uh, blow mold this. Our next step is going to be to um, attach this shock cord to the um, to the nose cone um, and to the, uh, the the end of the tube here. So, all right, I'm going to step out of order a little bit. So, actually, first I'm going to tie this shock cord to the um, to the nose cone. So I'm making a little loop here and I'm just going to slide the loop through the hole and like that. Um, so there we go. And then I'm going to select both of these ends and pull it through this loop I made. And obviously I have a long end and just a short end enough to make another knot. So you should have a little U shape that you can pull tight. So now that is on there secure. I'm going to slide this to the bottom because this is going to hang and then the parachute will hang from the top and it will fall like that. So this is on the bottom that should be secure enough as you pull this tighter, the knot gets tighter, but I'm going to tie a knot with the short end on top of that. Just an overhand knot here around this cord to create an end um, that won't come off. So there's just a little overhand knot, and that should be good. So this should be secure. Doesn't look like there's, you know, you could go ahead and double knot it, do like a square knot. I'm just going to do that so the tension isn't uni unilateral in just one direction. Um, so now it pulls on two ends instead. All right. Um, that should be fine. I don't know. I'm still kind of concerned about it. If you're as concerned as I am about it, you could like put some super glue in there uh, just to kind of dry the knot. I don't think that's a bad idea, um, but you want to give that time to dry before you do the uh, tying off of the parachute because you don't want your parachute dried on there. Um, but I'm just going to leave it. That's like three knots, so hopefully it'll be fine. Now we're going to super glue um, the end of this to this strip of paper, so you need to cut this outline out. Alright, so now we're going to be attaching the end of this cord to the two position. Then we're going to fold down one um, and hold that until it sets. And then I'll show you after we do that. So get your super glue. And I'm just going to put a dot right in the two. dot in the two. All right, and then I'm gonna lay this down across like that. Then I'm just gonna put a small dot on top, really small dot on top, because I have plenty of glue coming out the ends. We just want a little contact bond on top of the rubber. 
Then we fold one onto two and hold that until it sets. You might want to do this on top of a paper towel in case some of it leaks out the side. I'm going to hold this for a minute and come back to you guys. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to lift up the cord above the three and put a spot of glue on the paper. And hold this down on top of it, then put a small bead of glue on top of the cord. All right, then we're gonna fold the two on top of the three and hold that for another minute until it sets. Make sure your cord is flat and smooth when you do this. If you have kinks in it, it won't uh, fold flat and bond as well. So just hold that for a minute till it dries. All right, next step is to glue this part into the tube. And it says to do that one and a half inches, which is only that far. And this is almost one and a half inches. So basically you just wanna get this in there near the top, leave a little space. So I'm going to, I'm gonna glue this on the opposite side of the launch line just to maybe balance the weight out. So launch line facing you, and I'm gonna glue this close to me. I'm gonna put more glue on it this time than I did with the band and the paper, because now we're bonding to a different surface. So I'm putting maybe twice as much glue as I did last time, if you can see that amount. Um, Bond it right into here. So apply firm pressure. Um, you're applying against the, the tube, so you're not gonna break the tube. If I was applying pressure on the outside of the tube, I wouldn't wanna go as firm, but firm pressure here is good. Um, I'm now moving it around to make sure it's all flush and smooth and I'll apply pressure for about a minute. Okay, so now we have a cord attached to the nose cone so we can put this inside and put it in and out. Um, our next step is to tie off the parachute to the nose cone. So just cut into this. or tear it if your scissors are garbage. I have better scissors, but these were nearby. Okay, so it looks like this. We've got a plastic parachute. And it all comes together. Uh, so these are all different lines connected across. So we have three lines on six points. So I'm gonna grab them in the middle now. So I have um, the strands even. Um, I'm going to grab all three of these loops. Find the end point, so that is the center of the of the tube so that should be good all right so these are all together and now i have a loop and i'm going to stick this through the end of our nose cone above the knot where we tied off the other thing so Pull the loop out on the other side. Let me 
making sure you get all three loops and keep it consistent. And then we're going to pop the parachute through the other side. Perfect. So now that is tied off there. If you can see it, it's white on white. Not the best lighting conditions. But that should be secure as is. Um, but what we're going to do is double knot it. So do we need it? No, we don't need to double knot this. Um, I think the double knot directions is for the shock cord, which we already did. So yeah, just the one loop. It's only pulling on itself. That's nice and secure. The force is well distributed on this wide knot. So I like that as is the shock cord, as you can see, is double knotted. Um, so now uh, we can just wob this up but and stick it in. But what we want to do is actually leave it out to the side so all these little pieces can cure. That takes 24 hours. So our last step um, before we paint it which is optional again and then um wrap the parachute prepare it for flight is to attach our little tube here so this is the launch lug and i'm going to put that on my ll line and it shows you doing so right above where the fins are so i'm going to attach it here um if you can see on the length of the tube from there to there so this is tricky. We're gluing a round piece to a round piece. Um, I don't love that, but here we go anyways. So that's that long. So you can see all the white marks on my tube. We put too much glue on it last night. So I'm going to try to go for a thinner band. Just make sure I get all the parts you need. The nice thing about the thin nozzle is you can just use that to drag glue across the surface before it starts drying. And I'm gonna close my glue off. And then we're going to hold up the tube in the air so you don't apply pressure to the wings. And then get that straightened up and apply pressure for a minute. I'm going to pause here, apply pressure, and get back to you guys so you don't have to watch this. All right, so the launch lug is attached here. Um, our last step would be to apply some um, what they call glue fillets, some bonds around the fins again now that everything's dried, um, just so we make sure the fins don't come off. Again, I'm going to apply a really thin band everywhere. Um, what you did last night, just apply it to the corner so you make contact with the wing and the tube so there's a bond in between. It's kind of like welding or soldering with super glue. So do that. <coughs> and then if you want to, over the break, ask for some um, a can of spray paint and some sandpaper if you want. And... Um, you can paint your Big Bertha as it shows in the diagram and then apply the decal. Um, you guys can do that if you want. Uh, make it pretty. That's not required for flight. I'm going to leave it ugly as is for me just so you guys can see how it was constructed um, whenever we get back to school in person if you have any questions about that. And um, hopefully I'll launch this thing as is, and uh, that should be pretty good. So be careful with the spray paint. Um, I personally would like I I would like put some painters tape right here on that end of the spray cone, spray it separately, and I, then I would spray the tube apparatus separately because what you don't want to do is spray this connection on so tight that it doesn't come off 
right? Because this will be flush with the top of the tube. And um, I don't want you to spray paint this stuck onto the tube because this nose cone has to come off so it can fall, you know, to parachute out like that, right? So optional spray paint if you want. Get a parent to help you. Uh, you don't want to get spray paint in your eye um, or on anything important. So lay down some newspaper on your on a driveway or something like that. Um, if the wind's blowing, think about where that spray paint might stick to. Okay, don't want to get in trouble for you guys accidentally graffiti in your neighbor's house. All right. I'll see you guys after Christmas break. Good luck. Have a have a good break and uh, Merry Christmas.